All right, let's see if she can get in now. Hmm. Good, switch to the others for five. There we go. Awesome, we're gonna take those arms over our head, starting with our right arm, stretch it out over our shoulder, try to pull our elbow back, get a good stretch in our shoulders, and then switch. Good, get a good stretch back there. Awesome. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lean over our side. So go to a little bit of a straddle with your legs. You're gonna keep your legs straight and you're gonna lean over to the right. Your right arm is gonna make a complete flat with from your wrist all the way to your shoulder. Not too, too far, Kylie. And your left hand should be touching your inner thigh of your left leg. So straighten your arm, Kai. There you go. A little too far, Chloe. Come up a little bit so your head is, so your wrist is in line with your hip. Bring your arm down lower, Chloe. There you go. Good, turn your hand flat down, Kylie. Put your palm towards the floor. There we go. Good, Yumi. Gracie, a little too far. Don't go forward, guys, you're trying to go sideways. Good, switch to the other side. Same thing, look at Miss Taryn. She's just making a T with her wrist to her shoulder. A T from her wrist to her shoulder. Then reaching with that other leg, both legs are stretched straight. Awesome, then from there, we're gonna go to our flat back. So we're gonna lean forward. Again, trying to put my shoulders in line with my hips. So that's how far I wanna go down. Straighten my legs and pull my arms all the way up in line with my shoulders. So I gotta pull my arms back, keep my head, cover my ears. So you should make a nice straight line from my wrist almost to your butt. Keep those legs straight. Good, switch over to the other side. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of like, like shoulder flexibility. Like you're like, you'd have to open your shoulders more, bring your shoulder blades closer together. Yep. Yeah. There you go. So now you're going to go ahead and lean down toward that leg, your right leg. You're going to take your left hand and grab your foot and it's going to flex. And your right hand is going to be flat palm down on the ground. So left hand, grab the toe and flex your foot and your right hand is palm down on the ground. Holding that stretch, make sure both those knees are straight legs, straighten those legs. Good, and we're gonna go and stand on up and switch to the other side. Same thing, now you're gonna put your left hand flat palmed on the ground, grab your right hand and pull your toe up so that your left foot is flexed. Yep. So left, left foot is flexed, left hand is flat on the ground. On the outside of your shoe, Bella, move your ha uh, left hand to the outside of your shoe. There you go, now put it palm down. There you go. Good, now you're gonna go down to a runner's lunge. We're gonna sit up, this is gonna take a lot of like good balance. You're gonna grab your foot with both hands and you're gonna try to push your hip downward. So it's gonna take grabbing both hands, pulling that foot towards your bottom and push your hip down towards the ground. Good, takes a lot of balance. You gotta keep your chest up. Gotta keep your shoulders over your hips. So both hands should be on, on your feet, both hands. Should be pulling that butt of that foot towards your butt. And we're holding. Good, and go ahead and switch to the other leg. Here we go, same thing. Balance, keep your shoulders over your hips, then try to push down into your hip like a split and pull that foot towards your butt. Holding that nice and stretched. Next, we're gonna lean back and sit flat, put our back foot flat on the ground. Scoot that way a little bit, Taryn. There we go. And you're gonna put that front leg straight, point that toe, and you're trying to put your elbows on the ground. If you can't, that's okay, go as far as you can. But if you can, you're trying to put your nose to, the, to your shin and your elbows on the ground. So be able to pull your elbows to the ground and then there you go. Good, Chloe, put that nose down and your elbows, good, there you go. Some of you I can't see to give you instruction. Kylie, keep pulling, girl, push your toe, point your toe. Pull those elbows down. 
Come on, legs. Good job and relax and switch over to the other foot. Same thing, you wanna sit on that back foot. You want that foot underneath you nice and flat. Straighten that toe. If you can, you're trying to get your elbows to the ground and your nose to your knee. Elbows to the ground and your nose to your knee. The last thing you're gonna do is go ahead and have a seat in a straddle. We're gonna to go towards our right leg first and our goal is to again, turn to our right leg, push, pull our nose to our knee and try to put our elbows on the ground in that position. So nose to the knee, elbows to the ground. Good, and sit up tall. We're gonna go ahead and go to the other knee, nose to my knee, trying to pull, grab the bottom of my shoe and pull my elbows to the ground. Good, the next thing we're gonna to add to this is a side stretch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn and lean to the side. You're gonna pull your elbow and you're gonna grab that hand to your ankle if you can and try to open your shoulder. Yep, so you're trying to make a box with your arms, grab that sh ankle and put your shoulder to the ground. Good Veal, there you go. There you go, Chloe, Chloe make your, open that shoulder more and make more of a square with your elbow. So grab the ankle, there you go, yep. Good job, keep pulling that shoulder. You should be grabbing your ankle. There you go, and have sit up. And now you're gonna go to the other side. And you're trying to open up that shoulder and pull your elbow and your shoulder to the ground. Feel I'm gonna share your screen because we're gonna go from you now. So, oh, how do I? So do you have to accept it, Feel? Help you figure that out, right? Share, don't share, unshare, unshare, right? Oh, feel, let's see. I think you're the host now, right? Yeah. Mm, okay. Can you share yourself, Veal? Yeah, because I've lost, see, reclaim. Oh, let's see. I can't, I don't, let me reclaim and try it again. Let's see, where'd you go? All right, Beal, I'm gonna switch it over to your screen. Did you okay. switch? Oh, there you are. thank you. All right, Miss Beal is gonna be my demo for the next uh, flexibility stuff that we're gonna do. Oh, where'd she go? It's just oh, it's delayed. Okay, let me switch back. Let me give it back to you, Beal. All right, let's see. It's going to take a minute delay. Bill, we're going to do that unicorn stretch first. I'm just going to leave it. Did you accept, Bill? No, not yet. Oh, there we are. Everyone wave. Say hi, Bill. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? In video, let's do that. No, I'm trying to wait for this delay. Feel say something. Hi. Oh, I see. But if I talk back, it's going to revert back to me. So let me. What do I have to do for me? Hold on, Riley, I'm trying to figure this out right now. Reclaim. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. All right, let's. I know how I can just see Beal. Like, I'm just seeing Beal right now. Oh, good, I just pinned her video. So is everyone just yeah, seeing Beal? I was gonna say. No, Maya does not. Okay, hold on. Unpin <laughs> video, spotlight. Oh, there we go. 
How about now? Everyone see Beal? Thumbs up? Perfect. Okay. So Beal's going to go through some um, stretches for us. The first one is called a unicorn stretch. So you're going to stand up and you're going to straddle your legs and you're going to lean over to, right now is not the time. Go ask your dad. You're going to lean over to the left and you're going to take your left hand and grab the inside and you're trying to grab your right hand on the outside and you're trying to make a box and pull your head as far down towards your legs. Now, both legs have to be straight and you're trying to open your armpit as wide open as you can. So open that shoulder a little bit more, Beal, your left arm, open that, there we go. Perfect. We're gonna hold that for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, everybody. Now we're gonna switch to the other side. We're gonna do that same thing. Take your left arm, grab your ankle, and your right arm on the inside. So if you look at her hands, they're reverse. And again, you're trying to open that shoulder, your armpit as much open as you can to the front. To the front. So don't close your shoulder, open your right elbow so it really opens up your shoulder. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. The next one you're gonna do is called a lunge reach. So you're gonna have a seat on the ground and you're gonna get into a, a lunge on your right, right side. So you're gonna put your right foot forward. Uh, go ahead and have a seat first, Beal. There we go, and put your right foot forward and put your left, uh, left leg behind you. So put your weight on your hand, good, there you go. So this is the position you're gonna start in. So then you're gonna put your left hand on the ground and your right hand is gonna go above your head and you're gonna try to make that same T that we were doing on that side stretch. Now everyone go to this position. Now you're gonna take your left leg and try to put it out pointed toe to the side. Go ahead, Beal, go and try. Now this takes a lot of balance. Put weight on your left leg and then pick it up and go push it all the way out, Beal. Uh, pick up. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Bring it more toward me, towards me, towards me. Keep coming towards me. Yep. Keep coming. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. And now good. There we go. Now you should be on the side of that foot and open up that rib cage. There you go. You should feel a good stretch. Your knee should be nice and 90 degrees and your heel should be down, but you should be lifting weight off of that far leg. Holding for 10, nine, eight, turn those shoulders open, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. So we're going to switch over to that other side. Good job. You're going to do the same thing. Put that lunge up. So now you're putting your left lunge up. You're putting your right hand down and then leaning over. Again, making that T over your head a little bit more, Beal. Lean over more. Good, now you're gonna try to pick up that leg and go out beside your hips. Good, and keep all that weight off of the side of your shoe. You just wanna be on the toe. Beautiful, Beal, good. Holding for 10, nine, eight. Kylie, fix your hands, it's too far over. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax, I didn't even record it. Good job, you guys. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is gonna be tricky. So we're gonna try to make sure we can see Beal doing this. You're gonna start in like a right lunge, right runner's lunge facing me, or to the side, maybe go do yours to the side. Okay, this is a right runner's lunge. And then you're gonna take your right arm and put it under your right leg. Your goal is to try to lay underneath your right leg, keeping your hip up, yep and you're gonna put your chest on the ground, and then you're gonna straighten out that back leg almost into the splits. So go ahead, Beal. Go ahead and slide into it. Both of them go straight. Yep. So you're trying to put your shoulder, can't totally see Beal. Can you see Karen? <laughs> Karen's doing a pretty good job. She's trying to pull her shoulder underneath. So can you come up and do it forward? Not bad, right? But you're trying to keep your hips up. 
So you're trying to pull your shoulder underneath, if you can see Taryn. And now she's gonna slide as far down, but she's gonna put her chest on the ground. <laughs> as far as she can go. <gasps> Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good try, good try. And then we'll switch over to the other leg. Again, we're gonna go into that lunge position again. And then you're gonna take your chest, put your left arm underneath that leg and try to put your chest on the ground and then straighten your back leg and lay, almost try to lay underneath that leg. So straighten out that back leg, Beal, there you go. Try to get your hips up a little bit more so you can get your shoulder more underneath your stretch. There you go. Holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Awesome. <laughs> this next one is a cross leg extended stretch. So you're gonna kind of sit um, on your hip with your knee crossed over your leg. So you're gonna sit on the ground, look at Beal, she's gonna put her right leg out and she's gonna put her left leg over her knee. Now this is, takes a good amount of core strength. So it's gonna be a little tricky. Then you're gonna put your right arm on the ground, your left arm on the ground, and then you're trying to lift up with your arm over your head. So put your arm over a Beal, your right arm over your head. And this is the position you're trying to lift up to. And again, we're going back to opening up that shoulder, holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, you guys. And we're gonna switch over to the other leg. Yep, there we go, perfect. Again, we're gonna straighten one leg and then we're gonna cross that other one on top. You're gonna put your right hand down and then that, that left hand's gonna go straight out above your head and it's all a core and balance. Ready and up, holding for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job, you guys. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is a right, left split, 30 seconds hold, but you're gonna do it from like a stag sit. So, um, so you're gonna put your right leg out and you're gonna bend your left leg. So put your right leg out, Beal. Uh, no, go for, there you go. Uh, go from a straddle, Beal. Have a seat in a straddle. Put your right leg out. Now, now tuck your left leg under like a side hurdler. Yep. So now, there you go. So she's sitting in a side hurdler. Now she has to pull her left knee back further so her knee is in line with her right leg. Yep. Keep pulling it back. There we go. Good. So now you're going to lean over and you're gonna to try to grab your ankle with your left hand. So putting that front hand, pull that shoulder. Again, trying to pull that. So make sure the knee that's bent is in line with your hips. If it's too far forward like a jump, then it's not gonna stretch the, the right uh, stretches for a front stretch or a bow and arrow. There you go. Keep holding it for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, look at uh, Beal's arm, it's nice and square so she can open her shoulder. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job, go ahead and switch to the other one. Yeah, that's a, a hip one, that's yeah. a real open hip one. Good job, same thing, pull that, go to that uh, straddle again, pull your left leg back, and the more you pull your knee back, the better it will be for a bow and arrow and like front stretches, things like that. So now we're gonna go ahead and reverse. So you're gonna pull your left shoulder forward and grab with your right arm and open up that shoulder as much as you can to the ceiling. And if you put your head down, Beal, try to put your head, like rotate your shoulder more to even open up your chest more. Put your head on the ground. On the ground, yeah. Now oh, pull that shoulder more towards me. Yeah, that's a good bow and arrow right there. 
Holding for 10, 9, 8, 7. Remember, make that box with your shoulder so you can open it up to the ceiling. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Go ahead and relax. Okay. The next thing you're going to need is if you have your splits, we're going to do side elevated splits. So if you have your splits, you're going to need something to raise your leg up on. Just grab like one of the little panel mats. So, uh, Beal, do you have something you can raise your leg up on? You know, like we uh, like uh, use a mat to lift your legs? Yeah. So maybe find something. Otherwise, I'll switch over here to Taryn has got the mat. Should it be with switch. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so it's okay. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a um, side elevated split. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your um, right leg on the mat and face me in a straddle. So have a seat. So if you have something elevated, perfect. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lift up, uh, go to a straddle. You're gonna walk yourself up and over. Yep. Yep, and you're gonna go to your elbow. The idea is that we're focusing on lifting this right leg right up from here. Your toes. Over. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay there. Now you're going to go right foot this way towards me. Lean towards me. Yep, trying to grab your shoe if you can. Here we go. Going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four. Good job. And you're going to switch to just raise the back so you do your other leg. So this is something we would do if you have elevated splits. If you don't have splits to the ground, then you just do these on the ground. Okay? If you have your splits, then you want to raise that, sec that outside leg as high as you can to help yourself get a better stretch. So go to that straddle. Over to your chest. On just that left side, point those toes, holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And she's going to turn over to her left split, one side on each side, perfect, trying to grab as far forward as she can. If you're flexible enough, again, you should be reaching past your feet, again, trying to pull those elbows down to the ground. Holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Go ahead and relax. Perfect. The next thing we have is we're going to go through some body positions. Um, if you have a partner or a dad or a mom that can help you, that would be helpful. If not, maybe grab a chair. I'm gonna be um, your partner. Um, so the first one we're gonna go through is, so we did elevated splits, sides. So we're gonna do, uh, first we're just gonna do an easy one, which is a heel stretch. So this is all how you're gonna help like pulse. So if you have someone, you're gonna hold on to them from over here just to be their leverage. So you can use a chair or a wall, and then you're gonna hit, pull your stretch. And then you're gonna pull it towards you 10 times. So ready and go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Perfect. And then I would switch to the other side. She would get her stretch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Good job. Now, obviously, Terrence hasn't done heel stretches in a while. So for my kids who are flexible that can go with two, 
put your back up against a wall. So everyone go find a wall. I'm just gonna critique you from the videos. Go find a wall, put your back to the wall. And you're trying to pick up that leg from the side. So now we're gonna try to do a needle. So obviously if you, like I said, if you can pull these positions, then that's who I'm talking to. If you can't, continue to do the heel stretches at, or this, what Ms. Taryn is doing right now, working on pulling that leg. So if you don't have your heel stretch, you're gonna do what Ms. Taryn is doing right now. She's gonna grab and she's gonna pull with her arms. If you have it, then you're on a wall right now. You're gonna start with one of your legs and you're gonna kick it from the side and grab it with your opposite arm. Ready and go. Good, now bring your arm in front. You'll go ahead and kick up your leg. Good, now bring that, grab that ankle, grab that ankle. Everyone try to grab that ankle. Now, see, uh, yep, you'll grab, go ahead and try it. Now, there you go. Now you gotta go to that box. So now for you, Chloe, now pull it behind you, right? Feel, go ahead. Where's my Gracie? Gracie, come on. There, yes, pull it behind your head and open that shoulder. Holding for 10, nine, keep opening that shoulder. Beal, go ahead and grab the foot. Your legs are long. Beal, go ahead, grab your foot. Because <laughs> your legs are so long. Yep, and trying to get that shoulder, that square shoulder we were doing on all those drills. Good, and relax. We're gonna do that other leg. Lean back in that wall, give yourself a little support, and you're gonna try to do the same thing. Ready, and kick your foot up. So you're trying to go from the side, grab that foot, pull your shoulder through. Pull it behind your head, Chloe. Where's Gracie? Gracie, where you at? I lost Gracie. Good, Beal, pull it back. Remember, work on that open shoulder, opening that shoulder, right? Yeah, use both hands if you have to since you're not quite there yet. So go two-handed, Beal. Kick forward, grab two hands. Good job, Yumi. Keep pulling it towards your head. Good, Bella, keep, keep working it. Keep that bottom leg straight. Everyone hold for 10 seconds. Keep pulling. Two-handed, uh, Gracie, go two hands because you're still working on the front stretch, right? So now, we're, now we understand how to make boxes with our arms, work on making those boxes with my arms as I'm pulling that leg forward. Awesome, good, come on down. There we go, better. Awesome, you guys. That's our front flexibility. Uh, next week, we're gonna work on back flexibility, um, but I'll post this video, do this video every day. A lot of those stretches really help open up your shoulders. For those of you that aren't shoulder flexibility yet, strong yet, uh, a lot of those drills are gonna help you uh, open up those shoulders so you can uh, get to those bow and arrows. Let me take a quick roll real quick. So I know everybody that was here. Deal, thank you for your help. I got Beal, I got Chloe. Who's this? Maya. Hi. Hi, Mr. Gina. Hi, kiddo. Uh, Bella, Casey, Caitlin, Brianna, Lexi, Gracie. Hi. Miss Maylene. All right, you guys. Great job tonight. I hope Hi. you had a good day. Thanks again. Bye. Thank you, Gina. Yes. Could you watch this one stretch that I that I did today? Because I felt like really good yeah. about it. Yeah, show me. Bye. Bye. So. Yes, that's correct. Good. Right. Yes. Just make sure your hips are all the way over, and make sure you put your left put your chest all the way flat. So put your arm in. Now put your left arm down, flat, your chest down. Now in, in a T, in line with your body. Make a whole T, there you go. Hey, that's like a good. Good job, yeah, keep working on that. You'll be doing a bow and arrow soon enough. Awesome. Bye guys. Bye. Bye, Bye, -bye. Bye Yumi, see you guys later. Now you're broken. <laughs>